Hey everybody, welcome back to Trevor's 12 week plan update video. We are actually now in week 10. Uh, I spoke to you last um, a month ago that, that life intervened and so I am woefully overdue. Um, but that's one of the big lessons from this last month of writing for me. So uh, I will share uh, as we go forward. So uh, week 10 here, um, my sole task this week is to uh, finish the creation of the worksheets and um, uh, one of the things I reported I think last time um, in, in my last video or, or if I didn't I, I sent it in, in an email update um, but one of the things I realized is that instead of redesigning creating cool worksheets um, in fact my main project for this 12-week plan was going to be finishing the content of those worksheets because uh, I had enough work to do and in fact I discovered last week there was more than enough to do just finishing the content and getting that right um, that I did not have time in this 12-week plan to actually do anything with the actual formatting of them and and then I decided well you know what it's probably better I get feedback and suggestions before making an effort to do that anyway so maybe I it's maybe I win by subtraction in this case so the goal for this week is to create worksheets let me just take you down and show you the weekly plans and where, where we've been so we talked last I think after week five uh, when I had just finished the implementation chapter which had been a bit of a bugaboo for me got that off the table and then spent a couple of weeks uh, drafting the conclusion chapter my my hope had been that that was going to be a very small project it was a very small project and my hope had been i would have time in week six and or seven to kind of pull forward the work on the worksheets and get that started because i i thought that was going to be the a big job and i i wasn't sure three weeks was going to be enough on it so i wanted to try to get a head start on that did not manage to do that didn't have enough time to do that and so week seven ended i was happy to have the conclusion done at that point but then life uh, threw a, a curve at me and punched punched a hole in my 12-week plan um, my day job for good reasons but my day job ate all of week eight so week eight nothing got done on this project so uh, I got a big zero burger for week eight and um, then last week which was week nine I finally got back to the project and was able to make some good progress on the worksheets. I have two, two kinds of worksheets. I have the audit your routine worksheets and I have design your routine worksheets. I got the audit ones redone, uh, only to then turn to the design worksheets and realize I had left myself far more content work there than I had remembered. It looked good when you were just sort of flipping past it, but when I got into it, I realized that um, each, each of the worksheets had good content, not always complete, but, but none of it was organized in the sort of the same structure. So each one felt totally different and not in a good way. So um, I have more work there than I realized. I am hopeful that I have enough time to do um, almost all, if not all of that this week during week 10. If I need to, I believe I have enough spare time that if it bleeds over into week 11, a couple days, that's okay. Because as it turns out, the last couple of goals on the on the 12 week plan are to sort of read through the document one more time and sort of iron out last bits and pieces and then send it up for feedback as it happens because of wanting to read through the thing to do other edits as you know even for later chapters I, I sort of read through the whole thing to do the conclusion chapter uh, and and I made a lot of changes as I sort of as I went and so I just don't really think there's going to be too, too, too much there. So I, I'm, I'm very confident that I'm going to get the, the content done uh, and, and wind up, you know, finishing, finishing strong here. Um, again, you know, if you, if you think back to the beginning, I, I had to almost immediately ditch a couple of goals. I've had to revise the goal about the worksheets. So what I am successfully finishing uh, at the end of this 12 week year is not exactly what I had imagined, but Again, I think one of the biggest reasons we use plans is because um, we can be very intentional uh, and thoughtful about about our work. And 
you know, it all has to get done eventually. Sure. Um, is it, is it, you know, bad that I didn't get it all done early? No, it's not because the point, the point here is that you can only get done in 12 weeks, what you can get done. Magic thinking that you're going to get more of it done is, is a negative because it ends up making you, um, work, uh, either too frantically, too sloppily, uh, or, or what have you better to be thoughtful, intentional, deliberate, get done what you can get done, get it done with quality, and then make the next plan to finish up the rest. So uh, I think, you know, I've, I've relearned, um, again, one of the benefits of, of planning here. Um, let me sort of take you through, show you the manuscript tracker, show you where we're at here. Um, open her up. And, um, you know, just I'll flip all these open again. If you haven't seen it before, these are all the subsections of each of the chapters. This is my outline to the uh, to the manuscript, um, and I, I chunk this relatively small so that I can keep in touch, writing session to writing session, with what I finished, what I've done, what's yet to be done. And it's great to see all this green, and there's just a couple of blue bits left, and really just one, which is the design worksheets. So when I've finished those up, I'll be done with the first draft of the manuscript when I get feedback and I've gone through and edited to incorporate feedback I will be taking off this second draft and then when I get the final copy edit stuff done I will click off the final draft so that's the manuscript tracker um, looking at it from a 12 week goals perspective um, done with the first three goals I'm in progress with the worksheets getting close I'm about halfway uh, and then I haven't started the last two bits, but again, those are those are fairly quick, so those should go uh, fairly quickly once I get to them. Let's look at my uh, weekly reviews. Go back and I think we need to look at week six onward real quick. So um, as I said, I, I w it was a slow week for me. Um, I read through the conclusion chapter um, didn't do any writing really, um, was a slow week, meaning didn't have a lot of time to work on the project. So at least, um, and this is one of the things I, I talk about in my most recent podcast about slow progress is at least keeping in touch with your writing. That's a win because even if you don't get anything done, you keep your brain active, you keep the fire alive and, and so on and so forth. Week seven was better, finished the conclusion. But once again, didn't have a lot of time, so didn't get a head start on the on the worksheets, and um, so got my got a hundred for both uh, week six and week seven. Um, as you can see, week eight, uh, not so much. So my day job took over, zero writing this week. Didn't do anything. Oh, it's my first zero for the uh, <laughs> for the twelve week plan. I hate zeros, of course. Who likes zeros? But. Um, Again, you know, one of the things that's really important to remember if you're trying to write in addition to having a day job and a busy life and all of that is sometimes life's going to just make you get a zero. And you cannot get mad at yourself about that. That's not on you. That's just life. And it was a good reminder for me that, you know what, sometimes you just have to accept that you're going to have a zero week. Um, and then the next week you just, you know, embrace your routines, get back on the horse, adjust the plan as necessary and keep moving forward. Um, especially since I, I have a day job now that I fit other things around, um, I'm constantly having to remind myself to sort of right size my goals and to adjust my thinking to um, adapt to the fact that um, I, I can't just write for 20 hours a day or, or whatever. So so week eight was, was bracing and then um, uh, week nine, um, I did, in fact, get back on on the horse, finished the audit worksheet updates, um, was able to read through all the design worksheets and come up with the structure I'm going to use to put all the content in. Didn't get any actual writing really done on the design worksheets, but uh, I'm in a good position to keep moving forward here in, in week 10. Okay, um, anything else? What do we got? What do we got? All right. That's that's probably about it for now. But um, but you know, just again, big themes for the uh, for the last month. Um, life is some kind time's going to have other plans for you, and um, you know it's it's good 
for you to have a plan, not because you're always going to be able to follow it exactly, but because if you don't have one, you're going to get lost. <laughs> and when life knocks you sideways, when you have a plan, you have something to get back to. You have a path to take um, sort of out of the busyness. Um, but the second thing is just to be sort of relaxed about the fact that sometimes you can't get much done because, you know, frankly, that's just the way it is. Uh, and so um, we keep track, we score, we plan, but we don't, we're not machines. You know, we're not holding ourselves to 100% all the time, regardless of what else is happening. And so, um, you know, just a just another way life teaches us how we have to be as, as writers. All right. Um, I'm looking to finish strong. I hope you're finishing strong, whatever you're writing. Uh, until next time, uh, happy writing.